This is a brand new ATO's digital low cell indicator, model DY220. Housed in a rugged aluminum case, this low indicator can handle an input range of 0 to 2.5 millivolt per volt. As to the output, it's equipped with RS-485 communication interface intended for digital output, and it also has two options of analog voltage and current output, available at 0 to 10 volts and 4 to 20 milliamps respectively. The DY220 has a five-digit LCD screen that will display the engineering units that you're currently measuring in. In addition to that, there's a units button that can be pressed that changes the engineering units, such as from pounds to newtons. A push tear button provides the convenience of displaying gross and net weight readouts alternately. Another great feature is the simple setup menu, which allows you to promptly obtain information from the connected load cells. Similar to ATO CHB low cell display controller, the DY220 also comes with the screw terminal blocks for quick and easy connection. Coupled with an external converter, this low cell display is able to communicate with peripheral devices such as a computer, PLC, DAQ, or remote display unit. The measurement accuracy is 0.05% complete with variable measuring speed of 10 or 80 times per sec. Running at 100 to 240 volts AC, the display controller can provide 10 volts external power to drive the attached low cell. This CE-approved instrument also offers three alarm outputs. Apart from standard functions such as data logging, it also can achieve the first peak and first valley function, zero checking, automatic zero clearing when powered on, etc. In all, ATO DY220 is quite a versatile and precise device that is built to be easily integrated with pressure sensors and weight sensors. It's an ideal solution for load or force measurement application that requires the load to be displayed locally in the field or laboratory, as well as displaying the results on a PC, DAQ or PLC. If you'd like to learn more about this low cell indicator or make a favorable purchase of it, please contact us or visit our website.